Wazi, Peso, have you had any luck finding seaweed samples for Shellington? Aye, Captain. I'd say we've got every colour of seaweed there is. I can't wait to study each one under the microscope. We'll be there with your seaweed just as fast as we can, matey. See you back at the Octopod. Barnacles out. What do you say we go a wee bit faster to get home? Maybe a little faster would be OK. <laughs> She's stuck. I can't slow her down or make her stop. Rocks. Yow. Yeah. Huh? I'm... I'm OK. Are you? Aye, but our radio isn't. And the octopod is too far away for us to call them on our helmet radios. Well, matey. The first thing to do is get out and take a look at the gup. Ah, there's a bunch of seaweed stuck in the propeller. I'll pull it out. Let me help. <laughs> Got it! I'll go down and grab the gup finder off the gup. We'll use it to let Captain Barnacles know where we are. So he'll be able to come and save us. Good idea. Is everything OK down there? <sighs> ah, got it! Yes! Yow! Give that back, you scurvy dog! Fish! Stop! That's our gup finder! <gasps> <sighs> now what? Now, we find land. <gasps> land! Come on! Quasi and Peso should be back by now. I'm on it, Captain. Octopod to Quasi and Peso. Their radio's not working, Captain. Activate the gup finder. It'll show us where they are. Hmm. The gup finder shows that they're heading away from the octopod. But they said they'd come home right away. Something's wrong. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso's radio is broken, and the gup finder is showing that they're heading away from the octopod. Oh my, they could be lost or in trouble. Professor, I'm going after them. The guppy is ready to go, Cap. Squeak, open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone on this island who can help us. Doesn't look like it. Visitors! Hey! hey. <laughs> Hello and welcome. What? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Down here, my friends. Down here. Welcome to the island where the breeze is cool, the sand is warm, and the fish can walk. Well spotted, my friend. Most fish can't walk on land, but I'm not most fish. I'm a comb tooth Blenny. You can call me Blenny for short. Ha <laughs> ha! Who are you? We're the Octonauts. I'm Peso. And I'm Quasi. We need to get back home to the Octopod as soon as possible. Too bad you can't stay for a while. I was just getting warmed up. See you around. It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here, if he could find us at all. Don't worry, me hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? 
you've got the Gup Finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hottie. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. <laughs> <laughs> Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> ah, our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny! Would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish. Spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks! You're a pal! Oh, hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. Oh, do got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. Here, got to get a message to Napkin Carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted or they're stuck or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons stuck? Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. The sun is setting. Aye, matey. And it looks like we might have to spend the night here. Or maybe not, my friends. Look! We're oh, over oh, here! Matey. We're over here! Well, I'm looking for a couple of octagons named Hay and Presto. Huh? So the message got a little messed up, but it worked! Yow! <laughs> We're going home! Thank you, Blenny. No problem. Remember, you can count on me to help you out on land or sea. Just drop me a fishing line, call me on my shell phone, or sea mail me. <laughs> oh, ah, there's nothing 
more relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So, you want a race, do ye? You're on. Avast, me fishies! Wow! I've been hit. It's a snake attack. Ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Ah. Uh, Blubbering blowfish. It's the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octo Claw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yeah! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Island straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw on account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years. So, it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. 
<gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. Ready, coconut. Crack! And drop! <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> gotcha! There's Clem! There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready! I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. <laughs> there he is. Damn drop! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice catch, matey. And I might add... Ouch! Wazzy! Grab in trouble! Up ahead! Thanks, fishies! Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop! Uh, ah! And crack! My baby! What was in the coconut? This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Huh, Training coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah!
Oh, no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. <gasps> Guys, the captain! Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard, so how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right! Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegemals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Ah, 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 oh, ah, ah, ah. Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It, it, it's my leg. It really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Yeah. Good as new. Oh. Thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from the blob. <gasps> What's the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. Almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! 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 Uh oh! It's hit the Octo Alert! Oh, 
astronauts, are you all right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no, the radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah, I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gum. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. <gasps> oh, my. There's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me, whisk the air! Sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gob. Again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Oh! Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 Ow, that really hurt. Oh, yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good, got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse me. Just coming through. Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you anemones move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you anemones stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll, we'll do, do it, it if they, they do, do it. it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. High five! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a rest. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the battle of the blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Hi, they're not the stinging kind. Now this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. Monkey with a tool belt. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> <laughs> 